All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my live YouTube video. My name is Zoltan from New Generation Hobbies, and uh, you are watching this video because uh, hopefully in the future you are going to have a LAP RF as well for your race timing system, and uh, you might want to upgrade your Bluetooth antenna to give you better range. At this point in time, the LAP RF comes with a standard small Bluetooth antenna and uh, that will give you a standard around 30 meters range. So what this means is that you have to be about 30 meters off from uh, um, your racing gate, your main gate where the LAP, LAP RF is set with your phone or your tablet in order to be able to communicate with this and to read the uh, lap times. Now the lap RF allows you to race up to about eight people at the same time. Of course uh, the higher number of the pilots are is uh, you are going to lose some resolution there but this is just a great little device. We have been testing this for two or three days now and uh, we had quite a lot of joy and probably over the weekend we're gonna take it out to a race somewhere where there are multiple pilots who don't even know about this, so I'll just throw it down in the uh, um, racing gate and uh, let the people fly above it, and then we'll see the results. Now, um, the reason why we want to upgrade, in order to upgrade the uh, Bluetooth antenna, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, you need a Phillips screwdriver, and then you will need a uh, pigtail, which on one end has a UFL type connector, and on the other end has an SMA or RPSMA connector matching your antenna. And I highly suggest to get a Wi-Fi antenna, which is a 2.4 GHz antenna tuned for the Wi-Fi frequencies. My Wi-Fi antenna is about 5 dB, and this will most likely double the range of the Bluetooth on this little device. In order to proceed with the upgrade, we'll need to remove the battery. This thing is operated on an, with an 18650 rechargeable battery. You can recharge this battery and uh, run the whole thing for about eight hours on it. So I removed the battery, I removed the battery casing, and now you have to unscrew the four screws which are holding um, the LAP RF together. And I'm going to do this quickly here. Lucky with a little magnetic screwdriver that the screw stays on it and it doesn't get lost. There, and then one more screw. There you go. And at this point you are ready to open the LAP RF and to try to take the insides out somehow. It doesn't go by simply shaking it. You have to kind of push it on one side and kind of pop it out. Now there is a USB connector there, so be careful when you pull that, so it doesn't uh, break off as you pull it out. And then there we have, this is the bottom, and that is the circuit board on it. And there we have the standard Bluetooth antenna stick into the top of the casing and there it connects with the UFL connector to the Bluetooth module. Now you can hand pick that off carefully and my recommendation is to leave the original Bluetooth antenna in the casing, just arrange that uh, little pigtail so it doesn't bother you. Maybe use another piece of scotch tape which I should have somewhere to just simply um, put on top of the connector like that, so you don't lose it and it doesn't touch anything. That's it. With that we solve the problem of the existing Bluetooth antenna. Now we are going to have to add the pigtail into the place which is provided right here. You see there is a spot provided for this right there, so you have to remove this little plastic tub and put it aside. Take your uh, pigtail and your pigtail should be, should have probably a washer, like a lock washer on it, and the nut. 
we will run this through the hole on the top casing and uh, we are to run the nut on top of that. Now I will not tighten this, just bring it close so I can Insulate the UFL, so the short, yes, I did insulate the UFL, and that it has a, uh, um, was it, a scotch tape on top of it, so it will not touch anything. At this point, the other UFL, it's ready for us to be connected to the main Bluetooth board. And I don't know about you, but I need glasses for this or maybe a microscope. You don't want to screw up this position because if you do not plug this in correctly, and if you do not line it up correctly, it will uh, break off the tops from that little board. So right now it's on, as you can see there. And uh, what I will do is I will lock that down with another piece of scotch tape just to be on the safe side and I'm not sure if my uh, partner here who wrote in here for me to insulate the uh, UFL maybe that's what he was referring to but that is exactly what I'm doing here I insulated the UFL as well and now we are ready to put this thing back in order to put this thing back it goes up in only one position and I gotta find what was that position. I think it should be something like this or that. I should have noted. Anyway, yes, there is only one way this can go back, and you can find that way by the uh, um, USB connector. So the USB connector is gonna show you where it has to be, right, and what it has to line up with. Now, in the meantime, try to make sure that your little cable, what you just added to it, it does not interfere with anything. I have smaller, like 70 millimeter cables, seven, yeah, 70 millimeter cables, but those are not long enough for this process. Now, at this point, when you are trying to push this together, you will need to make sure that your SMA lines up with the bracket, like that, right? And then all we need is just to click the whole thing together, which is done. Make sure that uh, you have access to the buttons on the top in this little hole. And it looks like that there is, you see one point here, that the little cable which I have, it goes right under the battery. So I will try to arrange that in such a way that that does not do that and it is not interfering with the battery holder. Okay, which is way better now. And now all we need to do is to screw in, screw the screws back in place and from here on we double the range of the LAP RF. There we go. All four screws are back in place. Now, since uh, our connector actually went into a nice little slot there, what we will need to do is we will need to uh, Tighten the nut on it, hand tighten it, not too much. You don't want to break the connector or the plastic housing. Now it's tightened. There we go. We can put the battery back into it. Make sure you put it back in the right way. I don't know if this thing has a reverse polarity protection, but I'm assuming that they do. At this point, you can connect the Bluetooth antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna to it. 
right? Like that. And then our LAP RF has an antenna with an extended range. So with all that guys, thank you for watching this video. I will go and test this now to make sure that I have uh, um, the uh, range what I was expecting from this. But I least, at least I should have about six, 50 to 60 meter range from the LAP RF to my cell phone now. And uh, we'll hope that uh, that will be true. Thank you for watching and you have a great day from New Generation Hobbies.